We all know that at MCL, when you went to the comfort room and you produced a waste, this waste will flow to the treatment plant at the other side of MCL, and the treated water will burst out at the water fountains of MCL. Let's take a look first on the treatment processes in the MCL wastewater. The design capacity of the MCL's wastewater treatment facility is to hold 140 cubic meter of settled waste, of what we called sludge. As of now, only 30 cubic meters of sludge is in the digestion tank for the 8 years, since it was started to operate. The pH remained to be in between 6.5 to 6.9, as per order set by the Department of Natural Resources. Wastewater treatment processes are designed to achieve improvements in the quality of the wastewater. This image shown the typical processes of the wastewater treatment in a certain community. The waste in MCL is from the two buildings which are the ETY building and the Riesel building. The waste will flow to the equalization tank, then to the aeration tank, to sludge digester tank, chlorination tank, and it will flow to the starch tank, and finally, it will burst out at the MCL's water fountains. The waste water coming from the septic tank from the JP Rizal building and ETY building will pass through the inlet channel. The inlet channel holds raw waste water. The waste water flows through a grease trap. Next is the equalization tank. The equalization tank serves to receive all the influent from those two pipelines and is subjected to pre-aerial and odor removal before transferring the volume to the aerial tank. After the equalization tank it will go to aerial tank where the water treatment is done by a network of tube type fine bubble diffusers. The sludge digester tank allows to settle the sludge to the bottom so that water will be separated from it. The chlorination tank will treat the water that came from the settlement tank to disinfect it and be ready for the storage or disposal. The settled waste in the waste treatment process is called sludge. The question is, what the MCL engineering management do to the produced sludge? The answer, nothing, because the from some data that had been gathered, the current situation of sludge produced in MCL's wastewater treatment facilities is about 30 cubic meter in volume, almost quarter of the total capacity of the treatment tank. The management did not do anything with the produced sludge for now. But the effluent is used for the aesthetic purposes and for watering the plants. What can we recommend is that the digested sludge can be disposed offset by a private hauler. It can also be used as fertilizer or soil enhancer in the time that the actual volume of sludge exceeded or not to the capacity of the treatment tank. Furthermore, the digested sludge can be an alternative renewable energy in the near future. And that is the MCL wastewater treatment process. Hoping that you now know some other ways to treat wastewater and think of some ways on how to use the produced sludge in near future. Thank you for listening and watching. Have a nice day.